The Dalit Workflow Engine, together with the Dalit Amberfin Transcoding Platform, delivers a powerful yet simple to use system for orchestrating media processing, program preparation, and distribution workflows. The highly intuitive workflow designer enables users to quickly and easily create complex workflow chains and monitor deployed workflows at any level with graphical and textual reporting. Let's start off by taking a look at the workflow designer. I'm going to load a workflow that I've been working on and add the finishing touches. The start event in this workflow is a watch folder, immediately followed by an analysis of the media. The workflow will then take one of two paths depending on the format of the input file. I'm not concerned about the codec or container, I just want to know if the input file is SD or HD so I can make an AVC intra or IMX output. I'll add some rules here based on the picture height. If the picture is a high definition resolution, I'll send it to the HD transcode activity. If the picture is a standard definition resolution, I'll send it to the SD transcode. The transcode profiles are already configured in Amberfin, so I only need to add the conversion name in my workflow activity. After the transcode, I've configured a UQC pass on the output file. In this example, I'm going to use Digimatrix Aurora, but I could use any other application that is integrated with Dalit UQC, Unified Quality Control. The QC process may be different depending on the output format of the transcode. So in this workflow, I have two QC activities, one for SD and one for HD. If the file passes QC, which I hope it does, it will be moved to an archive folder and an email will be sent to let me know. If it fails, it will be moved to the quarantine folder and alert me by email so I can go and investigate and review the file and QC report in Amberfin Play. That's all I need for this workflow, so I'll drag over a stop event from my palette here and connect that up. Now that I've finished my workflow, I can save it and go to the Manager tab. I could have designed the workflow in a separate system or be moving it across from another site. So the next step is to deploy the workflow here. As it happens, I've deployed this workflow here before, but now I have made some changes. I just need to deploy it again and we can see that the version number increments by one. While I'm here, I can deploy more workflows if I want. Now that my workflows are deployed and active, I can monitor the status in the monitor window. If I drop a file into my watch folder, we'll be able to see the status in real time. Every time a file enters the workflow, I can see details like the time it started and how long it took. If I highlight that job, I can see extra information. I can view information in the log or I can look at the graphical view. In the graphical view, I can see the overall progress. Each activity is highlighted as my media moves through the workflow. I can see where the job is in the workflow and where it has been. I can see that the file I just dropped into the watch folder went through the SD transcode. It passed QC and was moved to the archive. Now that my workflow is deployed, I can go back to the designer and start building a new workflow. That was a quick demo of the Dalit workflow engine together with the Dalit Amberfin transcode platform. If you want to find out more, please visit www.dalit.com.